Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Amen. Good morning, viewers. Once again, we continue with our morning devotion. This particular day, the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Reverend Elphas Bira from Sitom Eldoret. I continue to share with us on the rest of faith. The rest of faith. And this morning, I will be sharing about on your lane, on your lane. Yesterday, we looked at how do you run a race that is marked for you, or the race and the beginning point. But how do you keep after beginning and ensure that you run and keep yourself disciplined? The Bible where we read yesterday in the book of First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25, it says, whoever competes in games goes into strict training. You mark those words. He said those who compete in the race goes into strict training training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. He alludes that those who go into the rest, they have strict training. And that is actually the athlete, uh, athletics that we do. There is a rest. There are rules and regulations. There are commands and commandments. There are do's and don'ts for our livelihoods. And they, people do that just to get some uh, crown that do not last, which is good. But it's not the best. So he said, but for us who are Christian, we must be able to run the rest. That we may get the full price of what God has said. If you read down there, he talks about, and I beat my body. Allow me to read verse that he goes there. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not like, I do not find like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it a slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the praise. On your lane, on your lane. Understand your gifts. Understand your limits. Understand your strength. Understand the fire you can come. All of us are gifted differently. Somebody has said that if you want to go far and you want to succeed in ministry, hinge more on your strength than your weakness. All of us are humans, and humans is to error. The wise men say that. The English proverbs say that. The human being is to error. But God is asking you that you may beat your body, that you may look at this strength, this weakness that are in your life and seek a way to serve God without focusing more on your weakness but on your strength. So you beat them. You suppress them. You look at the rules and know that if I wanted to go away from my life, I would be disqualified of the price. And what are the things that can disqualify you from the price? Uh, Paul again just writes in the book of Galatians chapter 5. He talks about envy. He talks about anger. He talks about all those things, drunkenness and all those kind of things. Those are things that keep people off from the land. There are people that began very well in ministry, maybe serving God, but along the way, because they don't want to keep the rules, they have meandered off from the road. You keep their, they're actually stepping on the yellow line. God is asking us to know the rest that is marked for us and avoid the distractors. Avoid things that will really hinder us not to experience his breakthrough. In your marriage, you know which way to go. You know that you are married to one spouse and not many spouses. No, you are lame. Do not go in somebody's lane. Do not go to somebody's door. You are in school. You are writing an exam. Do not start copying somebody's exam. We call it plagiarism, the higher level of learning. God is asking us to keep to our lane, to be able to understand that God is inviting us to be able to run a certain race. Even some people, uh, in church, they want to copy and paste what others are doing, including even maybe a sermon. God is asking, know your lane. My friend, you could be a teacher, not a preacher. Just to be able to stick on the lane of teaching. Some of us are gifted as prophets. Don't go and pick somebody's prophecy and imply as if you are the prophet. God is asking you to know your lane. God is asking me to know my land. God is asking me to understand my strength and my weakness and be able to look and know that I'm running within this food. Christianity is not just um, a, a, a religion of where you can do anything. God has asked us to be his children and he's asking us to keep off things that can distract us, the yellow line, the restricted areas, the things and the places that you no want to see a pastor in or say, one that I need to come from, Mama. God has marked a lane for me. 
may I know to keep the lens. There are restrictions. You are a worship leader. There are limits of you must go for practices. If there are four, four of them or at least three, and then they ask you the dress code, there is a dress code that some people may understand. Just to know that you need to run the full race according to the expectation of the game. And I pray that you need, you are going to be a compliant person as you look at that. Some of you come to churches with rules and regulations. As much as they may not be, those that you think they are coming from heaven is very important for you to know what are my limits, what's my JD, what is my respective uh, expectation in terms of uh, my ministry assignment. And I believe that God is going to bless you even as you go to your workplace and know your lane, know your seat, know your JD, know your roles, know your responsibility, know your limits and delimits because God is watching you and he has an expectation for you. Miss them, you miss the prize. And that will be something that we would want, not want to talk in this place. Let me pray with you and for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning. Thank you for our viewers, Lord. I pray that you help us to understand our limits. We may understand our lane that is marked for us, particularly as Christians, oh God. The words we speak, the talk, the conduct, the thing that we do, sometimes not according to your will. You may forgive us, oh. we may chop them off and be able to walk the rest that is marked for us. We worship you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.